This is Jitka, and today I'd like to walk you through our new Fresh DMS feature called Auto LQA. Before we dive into that, though, let's do a quick refresher on what LQA means. LQA stands for Linguistic or Language Quality Assessment. It's a process used in translation and localization industry to ensure the linguistic quality of translated content. It provides a framework and a methodology for linguists to identify and categorize translation errors by assigning them an error type from a predefined list and a severity. All of these are then summarized in a detailed report called a scorecard. LQA can serve many use cases. It's typically the last step in localization workflow to detect and fix issues that would affect the user's experience with the final product. It can be used also periodically on samples of translated content to check that the quality level remains consistent. It's also a great tool to assess the quality of work of a new linguist or a vendor that you are onboarding to your team. LQA isn't applicable to human translated content only, though. It can be used as well to evaluate the quality of machine translation output or AI-generated content too. So what is Auto LQA and how can it help you get detailed quality insights much faster than traditional human LQA? Let's have a look. For Auto LQA, we're leveraging the power of OpenAI. Auto LQA can detect many errors. To give you a few examples, it can detect accuracy issues that, well, if undetected, can distort the origin of the message of the text by issues like over-translation, under-translation, or by missing some parts completely. It can also detect fluency issues that are typically grammar or spelling mistakes, but it can also evaluate how the text flows or if it flows naturally and will be easily understandable to the reader. And once errors are detected, they're also going to get a severity assigned. It can be a minor issue, major or critical. Typically, at the end of LQA, there's usually a score calculated. In case you're wondering how the calculation happens, you can hover over the tooltip and you'll see the math behind it. It's fairly simple, though. Each error is multiplied by the penalty points depending on the severity. The errors are then summarized and divided by the word count. Then, uh, depending on the final score, the LQA result can be either a pass or a fail. So if it's at least 95 and above, in, in our case 95, the result will be pass, otherwise it's going to be fail. In case you don't want to have the score generated and you're only interested to receive the error annotations, you can disable the score calculation here. I'm going to keep it on though for the sake of this demo. And that's all the setup you need to do. So for each project, you decide whether you want to have auto LQA enabled or disabled by toggling the circle here. And that's it. Then you're ready to launch LQA on your project. So I'm going to select the jobs that I created beforehand, and I'm going to run auto LQA on both of them. Even though I selected two jobs, there's going to be an LQA assessment for each language pair individually. So at the end, I will have two LQA assessment, one for Czech and one for Italian. As you can see in this column, LQA is currently in progress. And once we get the results back, the data will be updated in the same column as well. For the sake of this demo, I downloaded a, a part of our LQA article from our help center, and I pre-translated it using our language uh, AI profile. So right now, we're sending the source segment and the target segment together with the language pair to OpenAI. We're compiling the errors that we're receiving so that we have a job level evaluation. We're going to calculate the score, create the scorecard, and display the results here. And the first ones are in already, and the result is fail. So let's have a look at why this uh, LQA failed. And I can see that in check, there are three minor issues and seven major issues. So that's why the score is quite low. 
And now I can decide to either download the report as a scorecard that I mentioned earlier, and it's going to be an Excel file that's going to give you all the details. Let me show you what that looks like. So in here, you'll get the result, the score, what the threshold was, you get the language pair, uh, the word count, and you get a detailed list of the errors. So we see that there are going to be um, four major fluency issues in this text. And if I scroll down, I'm going to get a detailed log on where the issues happen. I'm going to show you all that in the editor. You can also decide that you need to share the scorecard with someone so you can input their email addresses here, so click send, and the recipients will receive an email notification with a link where to download the scorecard. So I'm going to open uh, my check evaluation in the, in the cat editor and I'm going to have a look at what happened there. I can do that by navigating to segments that have these flags. So if I click in there and uh, switch to LQA pane, I will be there directly, or I could have gone to LQA pane directly and navigate through the segments by clicking on each particular issue. As you can see, auto LQA always detects where the issue happens. It's uh, highlighted by this underlined style. So this sales was an issue in uh, my translation and auto LQA also provides an explanation why that is an issue and suggests a correct translation. I can go through the, the list of errors like this or by navigating through um, the, the editor. I can also filter issues that I'm interested in. So if I only wanted to see major issues, I could quickly do so like that. All right, but I mentioned that it's also important to keep uh, a high level overview of how my quality uh, is doing over time. And I can do that in phrase analytics in this quality dashboard. If you're familiar with our human LQA dashboards, then there aren't going to be very many surprises for you because these dashboards are pretty much the same. We're dividing human LQA results and auto LQA results, we don't want to mix the two. So if you're interested in auto LQA, please go to this auto LQA tab. And in here, I can see where the issues typically happen or what they typically are. So I know that um, my linguist struggle with accuracy and fluency, and this is my overall score. I could drill down to a specific language pair. So let's say I'm interested in English to check, and I see that the score is actually a little worse than the average was. But uh, yeah, the linguists still struggle with accuracy. And I can pinpoint the projects where the score was the lowest, open them and see what happened there, and uh, hopefully apply some measures to improve the score in the future. All right, so that's all for Auto LQA. Thank you very much for watching. Hi, everyone. It's Yitka again with the latest improvements in Auto LQA. Today, I'm going to introduce the Auto LQA validation mode. Previously, Auto LQA could only be triggered by project managers or admins, and the assessments could not be edited. Now, with the validation mode, you can combine human expertise with the speed and cost efficiency of Auto LQA. In other words, you can use Auto LQA to pre annotate the text and ask your linguist to validate the results. In the UI, linguists can run auto LQA on accepted jobs. When the auto LQA finishes, they can open their job in a cat editor and edit the assessment if necessary. To do so, navigate to the LQA pane and click the three dots in the upper right corner and then edit LQA. When I see an issue I don't agree with, I can delete it or I can modify it. While editing, I can choose a different category, a different severity, and I can also change the description of the issue. As you can see, when I edit an issue, the username changes from OpenAI to my username, which allows me to quickly spot issues I've already edited and those that I might still need to review. 
If auto LQA misses an issue entirely, I can create a new one uh, from scratch. When I'm done post editing the assessment, I need to finish LQA to recalculate the score. And that's it. I have now successfully completed the quality assessment with the help of auto LQA. As machine translation post editing has become an integral part of the localization toolkit, we strongly believe that auto LQA validation or auto LQA post editing will become a best practice for quality evaluation as well. Well, let us know what you think and thank you for watching.